Hello, this is Dr. Dennis Acuso. And what we're trying to do is help you assemble a set of skills or ideals that are going to help you get through the California bar exam. Now we're on to the big what ifs. And the next big what if is what if they test California civil procedure? What if they do? The two main things I want you to hold on to at this particular point in time are motion to quash and demur. Just to let you know, a motion to quash challenges the personal jurisdiction of the court. If you get a motion to quash, you do your personal jurisdiction analysis. You see, personal jurisdiction analysis is the same whether you're in state court or federal court. So everything that you learned about challenging personal jurisdiction for federal will apply in California. Isn't it a relief because personal jurisdiction is such a big chunk? The second thing I want you to hold on to is this idea of a demurrer. A demurrer challenges the pleadings. A demurrer says motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim. Now, there are differences between California and federal court. Federal court starts with a short plain statement showing that the pleader is entitled to relief must make a demand and that's been elevated to what's called facial plausibility in the federal system the pleader has to state sufficient facts to show he has a plausible claim or that she has a plausible claim and in california it's an even higher standard code pleading there you have to show that you have sufficient facts you have to plead sufficient facts to meet each and every element of your prima facie case. All right, if you hold on to those two, hold on to those two now, there's a bit more, but I gotta tell you, that's gonna be a large part of it. And the way they're going, I wish that I just would have told people to learn only that. What I've been telling people to do for years is just learn the big distinctions. And that's probably what I would do, just to be safe. Uh, those two are gonna get you off to a great start. Now, another big area, choice of law, let's keep it simple. Say you have a choice of law call, use the, use the um, um, California. If you're in California, use California law unless it's challenged. If it's challenged, argue your facts. You don't need to know a lot of law. Just know the basics. Now, the other big area for testing in, in distinguishing California from federal would be the area of raised judicata, claim preclusion. Now, California is what we call a primary rights jurisdiction. So, in raised judicata, claim preclusion, if we have the same facts, sorry, um, same claim, same parties, valid final judgment on the merits then raised judicata will bar any subsequent claim. All right, same claim is the issue. The same claim. All right, in California, we use a primary rights definition. In the federal system, you can tell if it's the same claim, if it arises out of the same transaction or occurrence. So there we look at, all right, let's say there's, a, there's an automobile accident. And then let's say that uh, somebody has medical issues and their car, their property is wrecked. And then they, they sue on the medical and win. And now they want to go back in and sue on the property and there's a um, motion to dismiss because of raised judicata, the same claim. Is it the same claim? Well, the way it's done at the feds is does it arise out of the same transaction or occurrence? If, if so, it's the same claim and it would be barred. And in fact, how did he hurt his body, the accident? How did he hurt his car in the accident? So it does arise out of the same transaction or occurrence. That would be the same claim and raised judicata would bar under the federal system. However, in California, we look at what is the underlying right being protected. 
So in one case, the right is to, to be free from uh, you know, damage to your body, and one another it would be the right to be free from damage to your property. And thus could be seen as two separate rights. And so in California, raised judicata would not bar the second lawsuit in my example. All right, it's not that tough. Let me just take another quick peek here, um, see if there's anything else. Well, okay, I'll tell you one more. Um, there's this law equity distinction. And in California, we try the equitable issues first. And the Fed is just the opposite. Uh, you might, when you run into that, uh, make, a, make a note. It's one of the distinctions. There are big distinctions. And if you really want to know all of these, uh, they're all in power law. And they're all down there for you. We have separate lectures and everything else to elaborate all this. But I think I've given you enough. And if whatever materials you have, you can use them. Please study these points of law.